to bad weather earlier in the weekend, the schedule had been adjusted, and tonight's final was actually the semi-final, with eight athletes climbing at the same time and five minutes per boulder. It was an intense competition with hard climbs and a return to the top spot for one climber after a five-year hiatus. Alana Yip joined me in the commentary box as we watched on. Oh, look at that from Brooke. Whoa, that was cool. That was that coordination style movie which you were saying she's got better at. Up with the left hand. And now Brooke. Come on, Brooke. She does get the right. This is only a second attempt on this boulder. High heel, there's not a lot there, but she's so good at the big heels. Yeah. Another Brooke trademark. Just matching it. Wow. That is a series of very, very... Well, Oriana as well, as she walks off now, we can say she topped out as well. That was the crowd sound, but what a move from Brooke there. I thought she was coming off the heel. This is Oriana's top. Let's check it out. So she started low, obviously. <laughs> what a silly thing to say. And Oriane, this is her working Whoa, over. So basically skip the zone and just went straight to the top. Crazy from Oriane. So impressive. That's what that crowd sound was. Brilliant from Oriane there. She finishes her final. Pinch. Bumps it up. Yellow nails matching the yellow hair. And she eyes up the next move. Then into the cup. Slightly different method with the left toe here. Very low. Oh, nice. But really standing on that zone hold. Really Brilliant rotation through as well. She's one move away here. Easy. Into the dish. Matches. Nine attempts on the slab, but she got it done. Miho makes it work. That's the first time we've seen that move go in a few climbers. Come on, Miho. <laughs> well, it was just the toe scrubbing against the dish that saved her, and she gets the top, and that'll move her right up to the top of the leaderboard. After five years, we'll stand up tall on the top spot of the podium. Gold medal for her. I'm definitely more confident now than like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking forward to compete more and like try to have fun. On the slab. Brooke is trying to get a toe catch in, and we are, we are that's why they're screaming, because that man is close. Gets the crimp, foot in the pocket. This could be the first top of M2 here. Static reach, it is in. And, <laughs> yes. John gets it done. Oh, in front of his home crowd. It's amazing. Samoa once again through the double jump. High split move. Come on. Come on. Nice. <laughs> Rotates towards the crowd, fist pumps. That's how Medjdi took victory last week. So there is Ayala on the right. Oh, and almost straight away Medjdi's <gasps> in and up. Flash that. He's been working his socks off during the off-season. Almost crimped. <gasps> Look at this. Is this a flash? It is a flash. <laughs> well, there's a new slab master in town. Hannes van Dyson stepped back. <laughs> Came away from 2022. Ground his way through the off-season in the gym. And now he's taking his just deserves. Just before the going into the round, I was feeling really calm and really confident. And I just went like... Um, I wanted to climb my best and yeah, I had the perfect, uh, I, I think I had the perfect flow on this lab and yeah, that's great. <laughs>